Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to take apart the Ryobi brushless recip saw. Now this thing is extremely powerful and I love this tool because this thing's smoking for no reason whatsoever other than I think I have a lot of crud inside that is overheating the, the motor and it is causing it to smoke. I think the smoke is not even from the motor itself, but it's burning a little sawdust here and there. Because when I smell the smoke, it doesn't smell like it's a burning wire. It smells like wood is burning. So I think, I, I, I cleaned this out already. I mean, that's a lot. I, I've done this, uh, so I think there is a lot of sawdust built up inside. So we're gonna see, we're gonna take this apart and see if that's true. This thing is awesome. This is my favorite recip saw because this actually does the job very well. It might not be the most powerful or the fastest, but this thing uh, feels really good in the hand. I love the way that it handles it. Not much vibration, but there is vibration. And this thing is just, uh, this thing is a, it, it, it is a beast. So I wanna take this apart and see if there is stuff inside from user error and see if that is clogging up the, the mechanics inside. I think that's it for the body. The bottom unit right here is just one piece. It does not come apart like uh, with the clamshell. All right, I've been poking and prying and I'm still unsuccessful with trying to get this out. But as you can see, my theory is correct. But I have a lot of junk in this Sawzall. All right, so I found the solution to the issue, there are four screws under the molding for the handle, right there. And yeah, there is a crap ton of saw sawdust in there. A crap ton. Let's see if I can coordinate this. That's a big, big screw too. I still want to take that. Yeah, there's a lot of, oh yeah, there's a lot of sawdust in there. All right, I got that one last screw to take out. Alrighty, so I finally got those that screw out. Now this is a magnet. There we go. There we go. There is the brushless motor. Since we got this off, we are gonna clean the motor, get all the dust out of it, and Hopefully that will do the trick when it comes to this section of the uh, of the motor. All right. So then, since that is all back together, let's lesson learned when it comes to this. Let's put this all back in place since we don't need to have this clamshell separated. Yeah, there's a lot of crud in, in this. Let me see on that. Just make sure. I'll make sure this one wire right here goes back in, in its slots. Sure the trigger is back in play. Where's the switch? A 
There we go. This is the shock absorber. There we go. That goes in like that. Goes in like that. All right, now lesson learned. We did not need to take this apart. Because you could just blow the, like, I could do what I wanted to do with that off. Now all I gotta do is uh, put the screws back in, then we're back in business. Alrighty, so we got this, uh, the body back together. This is all done. Now, what I just did, you, to take this screw out, I took this out of the, took this out right here. You will, you will need a uh, 3 16 Allen key for that, which it comes in the Ryobi set. Now that should loosen up the, the shoe, which it did. So I guess when it comes to, I guess when it comes to this part, uh, you're, it's going to be pretty difficult to take apart because I just I think this is the uh, on all sawzalls or recip saws the this is assembled then it is rubber the rubber molding goes on it so to get access to the mechanics inside you're you I think you'll actually have to destroy the rubber molding and I don't want to do that so this was full of stuff I got that out I got a lot of stuff out uh, by gaining access to this. I'm going to blow a little bit more. I'm going to use a leaf blower to do so as well. So I'm going to clean this up as best as I can without having to destroy this. Then we'll put it back together and see if it works. So we are putting this back in. Got to make sure that this goes back in, the, in, its, in its proper spot. All right, so everything's put back together. Now it doesn't sound like nothing is inside. That's much better. Before you could hear a lot of uh, little objects shifting. Let's put a battery in it. Let's see if I put it back together correctly. Yes, I did. And look at all that blown out. Good. Everything is back to normal when it comes to this. Let's give it a test. Let's see what this, uh, let's see if I fix the problem. All right, so that's good. I think, I think we're back in business. I think we're back in business. No, it doesn't smell like anything, no smoke. Let's do one more. Oh, that's awesome. I think it's in much better shape. And only consequence, there's two consequences for doing this the way I did it, because I messed up, was this seam right here is no longer pretty, which, oh well, and for the screws to be taken out properly, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I had to uh, cut out in an X so I could get to that screw on all four of them. On all four of them. So like those are the, that's the only consequence, but who cares about that line right there? And that's user error. You do not need to take, you take the body out, the, the handle apart, after you take this off. Then it, this will just come right off. So that was unnecessary for, unnecessary for me to do. But it works. No smell, no nothing. It's awesome. I fixed my, uh, I cleaned, not, I did not fix this. I cleaned it. So, and that's done. Oh, so that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified for future videos. And this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.